for the long awaited 600 milliwatt Aon way. There we go, it's a little size comparison for you. That's a 200 and that's a 600. <coughs> now you should know how to um, wire it up if you don't. Look on the video that I did for the 200. So we don't need this. We don't need that anyway because all I did was take that out and put that in because it's exactly the same wiring. The only difference is the connectors are the opposite way around. Can you see that? That's your power, that's your receiver. Yeah, that's right. That's your power, that's your video camera. That's the only, oh, that's the only difference. Pick that up. You can take a whack, I know that for sure. Um, on the test, I used the FR632 with, you'll see a video of what I used it with, but um, I just wanted to say that I used it on channel, 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 5800 megahertz, just in case. I like to cover everything, what channel I used for the review, because obviously you're going to get different channels are going to do different streams the only not a bad thing but the only um, unexpected thing we had with this was it, when I got next to um, my friend Steve we were flying with the immersion 600 now normally he bleeds all over me and we've flown together and I normally use this one and this don't bother him at all but I got a bit too close with my quad powering off, uh, powering on, sorry, and this just knocked his picture clean out. Ah, get away, immersion! <coughs> and this is the what I used it with the FR632. Don't need to do any boxing, comes with that. Stick to antennas on, comes with some wires. These, there should be a retirement home for these. I've got about 50 now. So let's go blink of an eye to the field. Um, I have to do these reviews at night now. Studio lights, thanks to my studio lights. Yay! Lovely studio lights. Right, so cut to the field. Right, 600 milliwatt test is in there. Just introduce you to the stuff that's been used. ZMR 250V2. Bills on 600 TV on mini cam, spare on an antenna and on base station recordings. We have the FR632, the patch antenna, and a spare on it immersion antenna. This is for the so the, this gets the best quality picture. The FR632 that were broken. Still good range. This part of the video is to show you just exactly the um, distance and what I'm sat there. FPV, you can see Steve there, and um, fly all the way around. And this is the this side of the tree line that leads to the next field. I'll give you some idea of how thick and um, the tree line is there's actually a footpath in between it you've got all them trees there and you've got your more trees here this is just to give you some idea of what it's actually penetrating through low down we've got a brick wall there and all the way on there and then went into the next field. And the go post that's there, what I went through there. And then we go right up past the go post to the second, where is it? Where's that one? And then we go to the second go post, near enough along the wall, through that tree line there, and back over. Now, um, there's a little bit of breakup when I'm coming back over, and that's because 
the tree line on the way back is actually a lot denser and because it goes off onto um, a right angle look how thick that is it's twice as dense so that's what I'll cut for that break up there probably the best vantage point to show you what is in between when I go through that point there what is in between me and the receiver is all that tree line there now you can expect it to flicker can't you and that's all it does is a flicker come into the field at the side again through the tree line it's not as thick as the other tree line and then we come into this field here it's a cricket yarn and we come back out now we come to this bit which is when it's windy it's a bit tricky because sometimes that branch is long sometimes that branch is high and you don't really know which way to go on to the now I'll put my red coat there that's where the base station and I sit to FPV and on this little one here I'll show you why you can expect a little bit of break up now this, you saw the length of it, is what's in between me, the goggles, the receiver and the transmitter. Until we break out and come back into this field. Then the run was alongside of that there nice and steady through those trees there because I'm getting near houses and what have you but the picture is still pretty fine and then we come back up here now I don't know why maybe there's something in the ground magnetic fields but it doesn't matter where you sit you'll always get the picture break up there. now loads of us have flown on this field and every single one of us gets a picture break up there on the way back up. As soon as you get to the bottom run, you come out, go through, 